Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Animal Dreadnoughts. And today, a little bit of a response video, a little bit so something different. So, uh, I had some comments on some of my videos recently saying, have you seen Still 17's recent video, or it's recent when I'm recording this, uh, Shadowing the Bismarck? Now, really interesting battle. Uh, it was actually in 1926. Um, and Self had a battleship. And he found it really tricky, uh, understandably. I'm not even sure I could, I'm not even gonna try um, because I think that's a very, very difficult scenario to actually achieve without using a torpedo ship. Um, so what I wanted to do, or what was suggested, that I build a response ship. So stealth battle happened, you know, the Bismarck that he fought, which was a, Three hundred million dollar, hundred and twenty thousand ton, thirty six knot capable ship, and absolutely, what are you supposed to do about that? Well, that is what we're going to try and come up with. We're going to try and come up with the ship that has been tasked with going in as a response, and we're going to have two heavy cruisers with us. So that is the plan. Uh, <laughs> um. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the design. Now, I've added a couple of years. I've added a little bit of range. The range probably doesn't benefit me that much. Um, but this is to show, you know, this isn't a battle in the fog being suddenly surprised. This is this is us kind of hunt, trying to hunt hunt down this, this stupidly fast ship. Um, I'm not sure I'll bring the heavy cruisers either. Um, they didn't really do much... So this should have been what Suffolk and Norfolk, I think it was, that was shadowing Bismarck. No, it's just going to be a battle cruiser coming in and trying to do trying to do its thing. I think I might go with two, but that doesn't really match this. No, we'll go with one. Right, <laughs> HMS Pinafore. Oh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> HMS Cordy Delicious or Cord Delicious. So battle cruiser five. Uh, we're not going to worry about weight limits. Uh, screw treaties, they're stupid. Um, even at 50,000 tons, we're probably going to be about, you know, half, if we're lucky, <laughs> the uh, displacement. The Nolson. It's not bad. Right. Um, now then, I'm tempted by the Modern Tower 1 because. You don't lose out that much in terms of base accuracy, or long range, or damage control, or smoke, and it is about 2,000 tons cheaper. So we'll go with that one. HMS No Hood. <laughs> Whoa, Jackie Chan, thank you very, very much for the gift subs there. How many was that? 10. My goodness. Thank you. Um, now then, secondary tower, I think the modern one, ooh, I was trying to attach backwards there, it's interesting, go, could go there, now I don't remember if these have funnel mounts, I don't think they do, no they don't, so we're going to go on oil, 65 smoke is an annoying amount, we could go for two tall funnel ones, in fact, because of that, I'm going to up. I'm going to keep this tower. I'm actually going to upgrade this one a little bit. Can I get 70? Oh, no. Never mind. I have to go all the way up to do that. Screw it. Yeah, so. Uh, pop this right, right back. To kind of here, I think. Go for the two tall funnels, and then the main tower. So I have a superstructure like this. Incomparable. Yes, yes, Hood's Revenge. Uh, this is the British Battlecruiser 5 Divide Walker. Um, now then, gun-wise, stealth was limited to 
sixteens, um, which is what he went with. But I'm actually going to go fifteens. I know that seems odd when I have access to eighteen-inch guns. Um, but like I said, it's it's like a mega hood in my head. Um, I think the Super Two works fine for this. Mm, yeah, I, I do like the 15-inch snapping turtleneck. Hello there, Hardmore and Freedom Fighter. Uh, so we've got a little bit of a four-weight offset. Uh, quite a lot of a four-weight offset. In fact, I, this is going to end up being an actual hood at this rate. With uh, eight 15-inch guns. There you go. <laughs> Just a really big one. <laughs> Infallible. HMS silly. <laughs> it does look good. Maybe uh, maybe Hood got a refit uh, to take on uh, Bismarck. Now then, we know we know we need to be going at least thirty six knots. Uh, we can't do that on balanced. Can barely do it on forced because uh, the ship is so big. Can can I get away with making it smaller? Yes, I can. Let's go for the maximum smaller size. I know that messes up all the uh, towers and things up, but. Uh, I think we can get it in. Four weight offset. Uh, one of the tucks. Tucked in reasonably. There we go. Uh, Four weight offset point three. I can live with that. Now then, given uh, <laughs> hey Jackie Chan, <laughs> that kind of works. We're about a tenth the price of that enemy ship that we might be facing. Uh, let's go for an alt diesel. We're improve the belly shaft. Uh, I'm not going to do a Mimi build where I uh, ignore the um, upgrades here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about range. Uh, I am going to get at least many bulkheads though. We've still got a lot of systems fit. We can get the Gen 1 radar, so we're not disadvantaged in that. That's why I increased the, uh, increased the year by a little bit. And we're going to go for the good old tube powder super heavy option. Uh, torpedo belts could probably get away with not having. Uh, now I think about it, I should have gotten rid of the heavy cruiser on the uh, on the German side because uh, was it Prince Eugen would have detached successfully. However, I, I'm pretty happy with that setup as is. Uh, HMS Hope, HMS Incombustible. Now that's just asking for uh, trouble. <laughs> Some secondaries. I'm probably not going to bother snapping turtleneck because this is such an extreme scenario. We should have plenty of ammo. A B C Q. You can't get a C turret on this hull with 15s. You can get a what I call an N turret, a Nelson style turret. Indefatigable. That's a good one. <laughs> Jackie Chan, that is rude. Um, now then, yeah, I'm not going to bother with secondaries. What I am going to have is armor, lots of it. Um, now then, we were in theory facing a 16-inch gun. Now, a 16-inch gun, let's say at 20,000 meters, can go through 12-inch deck armor, 12 inches of deck. So we're going to need. A lot more deck armor. Let's go for six three. 
And I'm going to keep a semi-realistic uh, armor scheme at the moment. And let's go for 12, 6, 15. And then we'll, we'll just see where we are. Okay, we've got about 6% left. Okay. So ideally, we would be armored up from dead kits under uh, the 20,000 meters. Could I do something really bonkers? Oh, yeah, that's. That's painful. <laughs> that is. So much extra weight. Let's say seven on the turret tops. Uh, now, to defend against belt hits, let's say I wanted to defend against a belt hit from 10,000 meters. So our ideal engagement range is between 10 and 20,000 meters. So I'd want hmm, more like 15 inches on the main belt. Which is again pushing our armor scheme to the absolute limit. I want more like well, I'll go for 17 on there. And 7.5 on the extended. Right. I want more on the turrets. Okay, get 18 on the turret. That's pretty reasonable. 7.5 deck extended. That will keep out quite a lot of cruiser weapons. Um but uh, no, can't get any more out of it. Well, 7.7. 7. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm going to try and go with. I reckon I would probably need two, to be honest. HMS Challenger. Ooh, that's a good one. I do like that, HMS Challenger, as in challenging the Bismarck. <laughs> Please don't pair my deck. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with Challenger. Why not? A kind of uh, sister to the hood, uh, kind of a mega hood, I guess. Well, not really a mega hood. It's just it's just a an up upgraded, refitted hood, thick hood. <laughs> Right, let's let's try. Uh, now, stealth did best of three. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> if I die, <laughs> I'll take I'll do another go. Um, unless it's like really close. But if I die instantly, I'll I'll re-roll it and I'll uh, I'll give it another another go. Um, but I, I think I think I'll be all right. At least a little bit. Then it will spawn with twenty inch guns and obliterate me instantly because there's not the ship that we were expecting. However, that one doesn't look too far off what Stealth had with the three turrets. Um, and uh, they're spotted to the north. Okay. <laughs> HMS incompetent. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. It's good from that angle. Ah, oh, that's a good shot. There we go. Lovely stuff. Okay. Enemy in sight. Let's have a look at you. How far away are we? 24. So we need to close a little bit. They have 16 inch guns. They have more. They have 9. But that is perfect. That's pretty much... As close as you're going to get on an AI roll uh, to the ship that Stealth had. Uh, let's hope it's similarly fast and expensive. Oh my goodness, thank you very much for the gift subscription, Dan. Now, oh, we're going to steam in. We're going to go to about 15 kilometers or so. And then we'll go. Uh, and try and I'm going to try and get all the guns firing as we sail in. The rear guns have better arcs than the forward guns. 
but uh, they're still all amazing. Only other issue is if uh, I get very unlucky with the uh, heavy cruiser and it is bristling with torques, but it looks like it's behind. Yeah. Ooh, nice. No visible torpedo tubes. Good. I like the look of the heavy cruiser. Okay, we're about 18 kilometers out. Uh, I think we've accidentally locked onto the heavy cruiser. Don't care about her right now. Uh, I don't think either side has hit yet. Alright, because it's about 7%. We're in that 15 kilometer kind of slot. I was hoping to engage at. Either I'm scoring no hits. <laughs> at all, or they're just bouncing off. Anyway, he's still coming at me, which is interesting, because uh, I have a theory about how the AI behaves. Um, if you armor up your decks, the AI will close. Oh, that's not good. Went through the extended belt. I don't like that at all. Getting rather close. Still no ID. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you cannot cause hype trains on your own. Um, but uh, thank you for trying. Really? Four hits, and they've done absolutely bugger all because they've all ricocheted. You know what? I'm going to do something slightly weird. I'm going to double back. Because uh, he's coming right at me. I might force him to manoeuvre a bit. Right. Here we have the Elas, 78,000 tonnes. 158 million, maximum bulkheads, tube powder guns, oh good. 33 knots, well, well, that's not far off. It's not as scary um, as the one that stealth rolled up. Still a hell of a challenge for us though. She with the tube powder, no uh, chance of it blowing up by itself for me. If you're wondering why I'm swinging around, is to try and get that out. Never mind. Speed bonus. Because it should be easier for me to hit him now than it is for him to hit me, but goodness knows. 17%, 22%. That's pretty similar. Whee! Thank you for the bits, Jackie Chan. Well, my face blocks something on Ultimate Admiral. Uh, no matter where I put it. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Again, I am looking forward to having custom battle... Right, we're going to have to change tactics here. I am looking forward to having custom battle saves. Because um, that would let me, you know, go out, take out the heavy cruiser and uh, put in... Put in a second battle cruiser. I think might be doable with two, but uh, I think self had a pretty impossible scenario. Again, I'm just trying to throw their aim off, but uh, all it's doing is ruining my accuracy. We are able to get some damage in though, which is nice. Hey, thank you, John Craig, for the bits. Hundred bits, much appreciated. Oh, look at that accuracy though. Goes up to a uh, fairly impressive 73% at 
five clicks, but that is pretty close. Hey there, uh, Krupkin, and thank you very much for the follow, uh, Oscar. Three hundred eighty-five. Yeah, that is not going well. I mean, it's not that I have bad armor; it's actually pretty similar to this. But uh, yeah, they annoyingly are just able to tank the damage and inflict it back. Oof. Yeah, this is not very well. I mean, you have got a little bit of damage on. Basically a scratch, though. Oof. I think about 30% structure off. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's one way to do it. There we go. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, take that. Not Mark. I mean, I'm probably going to sink too, but screw you. Might <laughs> <Like>, get pumping. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, face, face cam stream. Yeah, sunless. Um, was it uh, Game Grumps did that once? Absolutely hilarious. I think the guns are having trouble actually aiming. There we go. Nice hit. Although, probably going to get nickel and dimed to death by that heavy cruiser. Because I can't get away from it. But, uh... Just maybe we can do some damage to it. <laughs> no, float. Float is bad. Float is bad. Very bad. No, down we go. Still, though, uh, <laughs> that's one way of stopping the Bismarck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness well that was interesting um, I was not expecting a flash fire on that German ship I'll be honest because it was using tube powder and it did have the uh, like it had the um, it had upgrades and stuff So, but there we go <laughs> mutually assured destruction but uh, 70 million sinks 150 hmm I'll take it. <laughs> uh, not bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one, those of you on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.